Thanksgiving is a great time to get together, obviously, with your friends and your family and have a good meal. However, we often forget the importance of this historical and spiritual significance of this holiday. That's right. Father Jonathan Morris joins us to share some insight on history as it relates to Thanksgiving. Nice to see you, Father. Welcome in Cleveland this morning. Thank you, Rick. Yes, and the first thing I'm grateful for this morning is that after nine years of eating pasta in Rome, Italy, as good as that <laughs> is, today I will be having turkey with the family. Yay. So good to be with you all. Very nice. As we think about the meals, we sit down to the meals, and we, many of us will sit down and have a prayer before the meal, and we think about religion mm -hmm. as it relates to this holiday. It was President Lincoln's proclamation in 1863 following Gettysburg that put religion and Thanksgiving squarely together in our nation's history. Isn't that right? That's right, Rick. And you know what? It goes all the way back to, well, first of all, obviously the Pilgrims in 1621. And then you look at George Washington, right? In 1789, these were his words. This is George Washington now. He says, we are devoting this day, right, to the service of that great and glorious being who is the beneficent author of all the good that we have. And then, as you mentioned, Abraham Lincoln. This is just a few years later, 1863, listen to what he says, talking about all the good things that we have in this country. They are the gracious gifts of the Most High God, who, while dealing with us in anger for our sins, can you imagine a president, talking, president of the United States talking about sin, my goodness, has nevertheless remembered mercy. So we, we have here a trajectory of history in which we recognize God as the author of all these good things. Quite amazing. I think that one of the one of the more interesting things about this is the fact that the President Lincoln made this proclamation and asked the country to give thanks for all of our blessings at a time when America was at war with itself. That's right. You know what? You look back at all three of those proclamations that we talked about, the pilgrims, look what they were suffering, and yet they gave thanks to God. Then we look at George Washington. They had just come from all of this war, and then Abraham Lincoln with the fighting and the country from north to south divided, and yet they saw the mercy of God. You know what? I think it's very similar to our own lives, our own families. In the midst of all the difficult situations, especially the economic situation right now, but also the social strife, we can think of so many bad things, but it takes a grateful heart to put pen to paper and to give thanks to God. Remember Thanksgiving, that's an action verb, giving thanks to God. We can all do it. Finding some context in the midst of not always easy times. Yeah, well, we have so much to be thankful for, especially being here in America. We, we're grateful for you too, Father, Father Jonathan. Oh, you guys, thanks so much. Thank, Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy, enjoy your family uh, out there in Cleveland. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Well,